Thank you for coming to our petition page. We need you to sign this petition and we need you to share it. Every time you share it, it's like you signed it five times and we need all the pressure that we can bring to bear. We are fighting Vancouver's third largest property developer, a billion dollar company, with more lawyers and more power than we will ever have. They can fight this fight harder than we can with resources we don't have. So we need to bring to bear all the pressure of social media, the power of all Vancouverites, of City Hall, of BC, of Canada, of the world. We need everybody to stand behind us to help us fight a billion dollar company that is trying to kick us out of our homes. We were residents of 1170 Bidwell for 17 years, my husband and I were. In 1170 Bidwell, we were part of a beautiful community. It was well known around the West End, practically famous really, because we were such a wonderful, vibrant community of friends, not neighbors, friends. 10 units that got together and always hung out and had dinners and watched movies and laughed and celebrated living in this gorgeous city of Vancouver. And we support density in Vancouver. We do support people being able to move to this city at an affordable rate for rent, to live here, to make this city stronger. We're not trying to stop anybody from moving into this city, as Reliance would probably have you believe when they argue that we are holding up a building that is ready to be moved into. The fact is they're holding up the occupancy of 1188 Bidwell. They're holding it up by not honoring an agreement that we have with Reliance. It is signed, it was signed in 2016. It's on file at the city of Vancouver. It was part of their permitting process. It is what got them the permits for construction. They're violating that agreement. Even the city of Vancouver will tell you that they are violating at least the spirit of the agreement. It didn't even take long for them to start violating the agreement the second that they got their construction permit, which they got after we went to City Hall and spoke on behalf of the new building being built on the very spot of our home. We spoke at City Hall on behalf of this building because we had believed that Reliance would act honorably, that they would respect the agreement that we had with them, and also that we would increase density in Vancouver housing. It's a tight market, one of the tightest in Canada. So the second they got their construction permit, they violated the agreement by not helping us find another apartment within their portfolio of buildings. And they've got a lot of buildings and they had a lot of time to find units for us, but they didn't. What they sent us was Craigslist ads and Kijiji ads and good luck. The agreement stated very clearly they were to rehome us into units within their portfolio of buildings at the same rent that we were paying and for a term that would last throughout construction of the new building. At which point we would move back to the new building, now 1188 Bidwell, at the same rent that we were paying at 1170 Bidwell, and for another term of two years, and at which point we would start paying regular rental increases. We stand ready to honor all of that agreement. We have never violated it. It is Reliance that has violated it practically from day one. They now want us to move back to 1188 Bidwell, signing a lease that would make our rent $2,350. That represents a 90% rental increase, that represents an increase of almost $1,100. That is a slap in the face to tenants who were loyal tenants of 20 years, who handed over close to $300,000, my husband and I. $300,000 we gave them without complaint, without delay, without a problem. The reward for that has been a slap in the face and to go sign a lease that would increase our rent and violate the agreement we have signed with them. We can't sign that new lease, and we will never sign that new lease. We can't afford that amount of money. 
that would force us out of the West End, that would force us out of Vancouver area in general, that could potentially cost me my job because I don't have a car and I rely on transit and I get off work at 2.30 in the morning and there's no transit that's going to carry me home at that point if I'm living in Langley, a lovely city that I lived in for years and, and it's, it's a lovely city. But I live in the West End of Vancouver. Stanley Park is the crowning jewel and I love to run in it. My husband and I like to walk around in Vancouver. The homes that we have built here for 20 years, the community, would be irreplaceable. We have a pet. The other people, now only two other units. So Reliance is fighting a deal that used to contain 10 units, now only contains three units because they've managed to scare away the rest through their rude emails, their pressure tactics, their threats of eviction and all the rest of it. So now they're just down to three. Three families is a rounding error on what they would lose by honoring this agreement. We need all the pressure that can be brought to bear. Please help us. Please make Reliance see that they need to honor that agreement. They need to complete that agreement by rehoming us. Our leases, our leases should state that the rent amount is what we were paying. And for two years, that's what we would pay. And then we would pay regular rental increases and we would continue to be happy residents of 1188 Bidwell and of Reliance Properties. As it stands, they violated the agreement and the three families that are here, we're not leaving. We can't leave. We don't have anywhere else to go. We have fur babies, dogs and cats that we love and cherish and could not possibly be separated from. And as everybody watching this probably well knows, that means finding another unit to rent is going to be extremely difficult. Units that allow you to stay with your animal companions are extremely rare. And none of us could conceive of not being with our animal companions. It's not an option. So people watching this, please sign the petition, share the petition, share it on social media. We really, really need that. We need all the pressure that can be brought to bear on Reliance to bring them to the table to honestly honor that agreement and let's see this done. Thank you.